I think it's a bit like um, if you go hunting. You can go hunting on horseback with everyone dressed up nicely and well-behaved foxes and that sort of thing. <laughs> or you could go hunting with a shotgun in the sort of scrub country and so on. That essentially the process is the same, but the the surroundings, the conditions are very, are very different. So I think PR and advertising are a bit like hunting, hunting in different uh, different modes. Well, one of the big projects I have is I'm going to set up a palace of thinking because many years ago at the United Nations I tried to set up a group to develop additional fresh ideas and various meetings, Coffee and the Secretary General at some of the meetings and that proved impossible because they said we're not here to think, we're here to represent our countries, not to think. So that's impossible. So I'm going to set up my palace of thinking somewhere which would have two functions. One is to receive ideas from anywhere and to promote and publicize the best ones. And the second is to host creative meetings or task forces on specific world issues. So I'm looking around for a magnificent palace in a country. It can keep its existing use, but it's designated the palace of thinking. And then the other thing which I, I uh, might mention is I've just set up, it's just on the internet now, a Institute for New Value. Now, Institute for New Value is that if uh, a corporation producing a product or service says we've got a new product or service, obviously anyone can say that, but or they could come to the Institute and the Institute will say, yes, this really is a new value. And there's three types of new value. There's new value original, meaning this has never been done before. There's new value change, meaning for that organization this is a change. If Rolls-Royce started putting television screens on the back seat or something. And there's new value revived, means it was an old value which died away has been revived. So they can come and get an endorsement of new value from the Institute for New Value. So that there's more credibility that just anyone can say something's new. So I think one of the points which is, is a very interesting one is in advertising, how far are people professional and how far are they creative? That's a really key issue. Because professional means you really understand the needs, expectations of your profession. Like you, if you have ideas that are too startling, the marketing manager doesn't want to take the risk and so on and so on. So very often there's a tendency to an old idea which worked well before with a slight twist to make it new. So that's professional. Uh, really, creative means you, are, you have no limitation. And so it's an it's interesting point. Are they professionals or creators? And the other point, of course, which, which applies to creativity is too often, this is not talking about advertising, too often some creative people think that being different for the sake of being different is being creative, and the answer is no. When you're creative, once you get there, in hindsight, it's got to be perfectly logical. It's got to be real value, real meaning. Just different for the sake of different, maybe okay for a visual artist to create a style with something strange, but that's that's all.